It's day 10. Day 10 today and Morty is going to talk about <laughs> enzymes and beauty. Did you cross your eyes again? What did she no, do? No, she blew a kiss. I don't know what she does. Like sometimes she wins, sometimes she crosses her eyes and then I see it back and I'm like, what did she do? <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking about enzymes and um, you know we hear the word a lot and what you need to know is when you hear enzyme, you hear beauty. Because what it does is it's a living enzyme, it's living. The moment you eat enzymes, they activate all your cells. And what's our biggest cell? Our skin. It's constantly pumping oxygen, water, love, light, goodness to our whole entire being. So when you hear enzyme rich, you need to know that that is going to filter your body with lots of beauty and lots of love. For instance, it's again our fruits and vegetables and things like legumes and nuts and seeds and sprouts when they're sprouted, soaked overnight, let them absorb the water, rinse them, soak them again until you get little tails. Um, uh, things that even are, nuts till nuts sprout little tails. Oh no, nuts just need to be soaked overnight. Okay. Yeah, they won't okay. get the tails. Because I've never got the tails on so nuts, or so the I just wanted to check. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, and then uh, another thing, don't dehydrate things after they've been sprouted because then you're just taking the water out that you put in, so it's counterproductive. But a lot of raw food companies do do that, but it's not necessary. For instance, when you do eat things like lots of white sugar, white flour, um, potatoes, meat, cheese. Uh, and process things in candy and uh, chocolate, all these things actually <laughs> deteriorate your skin and your cells. The second they enter the body, wow. they uh, just take away from you immediately and they don't do anything to sustain our youth. So next time you eat, eat some uh, so enzyme-rich food. So when you see... What are foods that are enzyme-rich? Like what's an example sprouts. meal? That's why I brought them up. Sprouts? Anything, if you can buy celery sprouts, beet sprouts, alfalfa sprouts, Oh yeah, sprouts, you were telling me about sprouts, the baby sunflower sprouts. sprouts yes. Any sprouts are the yeah. highest enzyme-rich foods that you can consume out there. Yeah. And so when you see the word enzyme on a beauty product, does that, like on a moisturizer or something, mm -hmm. does that mean it's alive or are they allowed to use that word enzyme? They use that word actually, but um, typically what they're doing is they're getting products like calendula, aloe vera, and um, products that are a lot of oxygen in them, yeah. and then um, they'll grow them in a peri dish and, and sprout them themselves and put them in a cream, but if they're not kept cold in the refrigerator and they're out inside of your house, they just deteriorate. Oh, should we keep our moisturizers in the fridge? Yeah, you buy an enzyme-rich uh, moisturizer. There we are. Keep them in the refrigerator. That's so interesting. And, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, there's a couple out there. Dr. Hoshka products are excellent enzyme-rich products, and they do keep mm. a lot of them chilled until you buy them. Wow. Well, there we go. And we're after to eat our dinner because Zoe got home late and we're hungry. Okay. Good night. Good night.